said. Anyway, you know why I'm home today? I'm fucking sick. I was about to say, because you don't work. So why don't we start right there? That'll work. And as usual, it looks like we get another change to another UFC card. Yes. UFC, what, 181? Yeah, but it looks like, I mean, I tell you what, out of all the replacements and guys that step in, I don't think, I mean, out of all the fights that I'm going to ask you to buy or assume you're going to buy, this one right here, I think, is is one of the best replacement fights that we've ever had. It really is, everybody. I mean, if you haven't heard, UFC 181 is going, undergoing a big face change because Weidman hurt his hand. Um, and it, and it's, it's, it's the thing that we're constantly seeing, George, because... You get all these big fucking names, and people can't stay healthy. It's if you look at it now, look, huh? Look at this here's my thing. conspiracy theory. What's your conspiracy theory? That fight was supposed to be against Vitor in Brazil, correct? Yeah. Do do I, I need to pursue this further, or should I stop right there? You should probably stop. Well, my conspiracy is is Chris Weidman knows that if he fights Vitor in Brazil. The testing isn't quite up to par, no. so why not have a injury and get the fight venue changed? Exactly. I mean, it's. I mean, I not not to say I would do it. I yeah. would do it, but I mean, to me, that's the first thing that came to mind as soon as you said Weidman was hurt. I was like, he doesn't want to fight Vitor in Brazil, and I don't blame him because he's going to be jacked as shit. I don't care what his photos look like now. I don't care what anything we see, don't see, hear, don't hear. Right. If he's in Brazil, he's come out looking like a shaved ape, dude, and he just clubs people to death in Brazil. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's, he's going to be yeah. fucking – I mean, it's going to be a completely different Belfort in Brazil as opposed to being in Vegas. But the wonderful thing about this, since they're not going to be facing each other, everybody, the wonderful thing that happens in the UFC has done, been so kindly to do, is – to replace it with a very good fight, something that I think everybody wants to see, and that's a rematch of the welterweight fight between Johnny Hendricks and ruthless Robbie Lawler. So, oh no, I'm sorry. Let me let me apologize. That fight was supposed to take take place in Mandalay Bay. Oh. So no, maybe Weidman really is hurt. I thought I thought they were supposed to fight in Brazil. So I, I retract everything I said. So all you people typing your comment, go back and delete it. It's too late. You already fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I mean, right now on that card, you got so Johnny Hendricks and Robbie Lawler step in. Mm -hmm. But before then, you get Pettis versus Melendez, which is going to be awesome. That's going to be a nasty fight. And you also have Travis Brown versus Brendan the Glass Jaw Shab. Yep. And you have Corey Anderson versus someone else at Light Heavy. I don't care. Right. So it's going to be a stacked card. Um, and then, and in other well, at news, least two fights. fights. You said what? <laughs> At least two fights. I mean, I could care less yeah. about Travis Brown and Brendan Schaub. But you know what? That'll be that'll end up being a good fight for Travis Brown, <laughs> but, <laughs> not for Brendan Schaub. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a Denny special. It is gonna be a Denny special. Now now in other news, um, you know Sarah McMahon saw that Misha Tate had just recently beat this girl who was undefeated, and so she says, "Hey, you know." Misha Tate seems to be on another roll. I'm going to call her out. Not in a fucked up way, but she just called her out and said, hey, she liked to fight her. And, and, and the cupcake was quick to say, hey, you know what? I'm all about it. So now it looks like Misha Tate's going to be meeting McGann, and that's going to be a good fight, I think. That's, that's a fight that, uh, you know, those two maybe possibly could meet Kat Zingano if she doesn't get go into an immediate uh, fight with Ronda Rousey. I don't know how that's all going to work out because she's been away from it for so long. <laughs> And plus, the women's division is so weird. We don't really have. I mean, the only the only constant we have is Ronda Rousey. Right. We don't really have. I mean, you you'd say what's it? You'd say Misha Tate is the gatekeeper, the the John Fitch, if you will. But I mean, how long can she hold that when there's nowhere for her to go? It's not like she's going to cut weight or add weight to go to another weight class. I don't think she could drop ten or put on ten, and they don't have a weight class above one thirty five anyway. The thing is, is it's, it's so different in in, in women. MMA right now. The fact that Misha Tate has the one, she's a likable person. I mean, she's got a good following, which is big because it's such a young, it's so young, and they don't have that crop. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but, but they don't have they don't have that crop of you know like the men's division is so huge. So 
she can't get lost in the in the in the crop of uh, athletes. I mean, there's not a lot of no, but we can constantly athletes. talk about how she loses. Yeah, I mean, but think about it. What what other name four standout female MMA fighters right now in the UFC? I know that's a tall order, but I'm telling you to do it. Try it. Go ahead. I got all day. I'm just going to sit here and drink my tea. That's my sick ass. Go ahead. And I'll hit end on this call. Anyway. I got nothing, dude. I, I don't follow women's MMA. I don't really. All I know is Ronda Rousey beats everyone who goes in the ring with her. And, like, and Christopher fights this December. Mm -hmm. So. That's it. And then Phelan Fox has come off and spouted off at the mouth, and Ronda Rousey said she would run up now Phelan Fox wants to sign with the UFC. And if the UFC f signs Phelan Fox, that's just a publicity that's nightmare. Cool. Like, just don't. They might have taken it a little bit farther than the WWE if they do that. That's a fucking circus. Look, I mean, yeah, I was going to say, it, it's, it'd be akin to the bearded woman and the three-titted monster and, and everything else like that you see at the sideshow and the shrunken heads and the jar. <laughs> Huh? Right. I'd like to see the three-titted monster fight. I well, I saw an article this morning on one of the uh, the sites I go to. Some woman paid twenty thousand dollars to have a third boob put in. Okay. Okay. And you're officially frozen. Your face is like this. 